Hello, welcome to Bug Labs YouTube channel. I am Budridge and in this video we will continue with our BWP script that we know we have the polybar module, we can change stuff, we can display the menu, we can select the, the same wallpaper we already had there, the eyes can get weird. What happened to the eyes? Come on eyes. There. We get the thunar. We can get the yeah, the pale moon here. I already have the i3 lock GitHub open because that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna add, uh, yeah, we're gonna start using i3 locks. We can also use our wallpaper collection here uh, and use the, the wallpapers as lock screen backgrounds. Amazing. So, first, we need to install i3 lock if we don't already have it installed. Only sudo can do that. Yes, yes. Okay, now we have i3lock installed. Let's just run i3lock. Blinded by the light. DT. There. Okay, good. So as you can see, you just get this white screen with this weird indicator in, in the center of the screen indicating when you press a key. And if the password is correct or wrong. Nice. No, that's not nice. No one wants that. Uh, so you can do some customizations to i3 lock. Let's bring up the man page here. i3 lock, blah, 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 blah. We can use the no, no fork option. Uh, that can actually be useful uh, when you're making more advanced scripts with i3 lock. I don't know if we need it right now, but we might in the future, maybe not, whatever. You can add a beep to beep if you press the wrong uh, key, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I have never tried it. No unlock indicator. Uh, that means we don't get to see that indicator ring. So now I'm typing something. It's the wrong password. I press enter. I don't get any indication whatsoever. I pr press the right password, DT, and it unlocks, but we never get the indication. I don't know uh, if you, but maybe you like that. It, it can be cool, I guess. But you can also use the eye option or image uh, to, to use a, a, an image as a background instead of, of, of that white empty void. Uh, so, but the, 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 you have to use a ping image. And I know this is a ping image, abstract baby blue here. So if we use that i3 lock i path to an image. Now the lock screen, it, look, it looks like this. Type something, wrong password, verify, hmm, no, DT, yeah, right, but it only works with ping images, so if I try this JPEG here, for example, then we get this, ah, uh, and it tells us you can only use ping images, but there is a workaround for this, uh, you can also use this raw option, and that lets you, uh, uh, then you can use <clears throat> I don't really know what this is, but you can use uh, the raw image format and then you can use almost any any type of image and it's an example command here that we will use to do this. Uh, I will just paste it into the terminal here. Whoops there I yeah I, 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 I really don't like this. I have to look into this because this is something that happens all the time. I paste paste stuff into the terminal. And then it also includes the new line, meaning it will execute the command as soon as you paste, paste it. It's very annoying in my opinion. And uh, there have to be a workaround for that to remove any uh, new lines like this. Because right now this doesn't work. I don't have a file called wallpaper.jpg and my screen resolution is not this. But I would like to use this uh, command soon. So what I uh, usually do is, is uh, comment the command on the command line like this. And now it's available, or it's added to the bash history here, as you can see. Pretty cool. <clears throat> but if you want to, you can also use a color instead of an image. So i3 lock C, let's take uh, some color that's easy on the eyes, you know, like uh, a simple green. <laughs> you can do that if you want to. Uh, we can also use uh, tile an image if it's not uh, if it doesn't cover the whole screen. It will tile itself. 
yes, that's nice, I don't know, whatever. And then you have this very, very impo important option here. Uh, <laughs> It will, it will set the, the pointer to either win or default. Uh, if this is set, then, then I, I have actually never tried this. Uh, let's try it now. Let's use P and then default. Let's see what happens. Yeah, now we can see the screen pointer on, on the lock screen. Also, let's use that image uh, while we're doing this because it's kind of there. And then use P default there and now the the screen pointer is visible on the on the lock screen if you ever would like that it's like there's no reason for it because you can never do anything with the mouse but they uh, the i3 developers here have included this amazing option here so you can also use the win option here and then it will set it to the windows operating system hard-coded windows pointer <laughs> Uh, so you can mess with your friends by using a screenshot of Windows desktop as a locking screen. And I guess we need to use a Windows desktop uh, as a locking screen. Yeah, and this is a ping image also. Perfect. So I haven't, I have never tried this actually, but P win. <laughs> and now you can see I have the Windows uh, pointer here. So you can mess with your friends. Suckless. That's all I have to say. Uh, you can also add the F option to show failed attempts. I um, don't know how that works really. Okay, I type something, blah, 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 blah. Very fine, wrong. Mm -hmm. Then it should show, no, okay, type something again. Oh, now it says you have failed once. I guess this, this can be kind of nice, you know, if, if you have a computer at, at your work or something. And, and it's an easy, easy way to find out if someone have tried to break into your computer so that so to speak and you can see here, it's like hey why 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 does my lock screen say two here i i went to the, to the bathroom and i can see that someone have tried to enter my computer who did this who did this was it you was it you no 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 okay i quit i quit i'm not doing this anymore that got a bit too close to reality um ignore empty passwords yeah that's also good because by default, uh, if you press enter key, then that uh, it interprets the uh, enter key as a, a password attempt and try to verify the blank enter key, so to speak. And that can be quite annoying. Sometimes you, you just press it by mistake and, and that happens, you know. So you, if you use uh, the E option or ignore empty password, then if you press enter, it, it just ignores that because it's empty. But I guess uh, everything breaks down if you have actually have an empty password. I don't, I don't even know how that works because who have an empty password? Then you can set this debug to, to get some debugging stuff. I never done that, but whatever. And these DPMS things, they are dirt tech. They show how to do here. I don't think we get into that in this video. But okay, let's use this now with our BWP script. Go to BWP, we already have uh, BWP-L to lock the screen documented in our documentation and we have already added it to the get ops here, but we never do anything with this L option. So let's do that here. We test if OL is equal to 1, then set lock or something. Uh, and we can pass wall, why not? Then we create that set lock function. Set lock dot sh. Let's create a shebang so we get the correct syntax highlighting. Uh, set lock. And here we paste our command that we saved in the history this but the wall the path here is of course uh, because yeah we could store it in a local variable local uh, trg is equal to dollar one and that means that this is equal to or maybe we could even do this uh, is equal to bwp bwp slash walls slash 
dollar one. That will be the full path to uh, 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 an image. And we use this now so we can use uh, any image, be it ping or JPEG or whatever. And then we just add that here instead. TRG. Uh, then we pipe this into i3 lock raw and here the screen resolution which we don't need to hard code because we already have our nice little function here get geometry that will echo the that uh, the geometry in the correct format so we can actually use this uh, function as is here pretty nice uh, where am i set lock save ah, set lock uh, whatever so here we do get geometry like that and then image and then the path to the image and here you might think but wait don't we just pipe this uh, no you have to do this in i3 lock here you have to specify the path to an image and the path is standard in this you know everything is a file you know so standard in which is the left side of the pipe symbol here uh, also have a file path or a file descriptor i don't know if i like this that much because it could also be written like this if you want to use the output of a command uh, in place of a file you could add it within parentheses and a left point pointing carrot like this and then this will be interpreted as a file the output of this command here and this is also fine So maybe do this to make it more beautiful. So now I think we can use BWP uh, with our L option. Let's just look here if we use that underscore. Yeah, set lock, good. So let's try BWP dash L and then it should take the current wall. It will use get wall, you know, to get the current wall. Uh, uh, and the name of that and pass it to, to set lock and lock the screen with the yeah, current wallpaper. <laughs> and it works, right? Nice. And so that was pretty fast. It locked the screen even if it was in the wrong, because th that was a JPEG and it converts it fast enough to, to be uh, more or less instant. Um, yeah, 148, because this time here, because it forks i3 lock in the background. so. Whatever, let's not get into that. But then, then we can actually see more or less how fast that conversion was here. So about, let's say 100 milliseconds, because there, there are like some overhead for us finding the correct wallpaper and stuff. Uh, and it should also work with the random option, for instance. Now it should just take a random wall. Works, do it again, get a new random wall. Pretty nice. Uh, but I have found that I actually like to, to to keep the same lock screen and that doesn't have to be the same as the wallpaper so so what i like to do is um, uh, set lock is to store um, or just as we do with the current wall we create a current lock also trg bwp did slash current lock there so now if we lock the screen with the random wall we get the white mountains now we can see we also have a sim link to that file here uh, and if we want to, to be able to use that now with bwp l without any options then we don't want to take the current wall then we want to take the current lock we just add, need to add some stuff here to, to our get wall function because what that does is it tests here if it doesn't have any extra options then then it will look for if current wall exists then echo the name of the current wall else get a, a, a random wall but here we add some additional tests here um, yeah let's no i think we need to do it first here so we test if uh, the L option is set. And I guess we also need to test for that file as well here. Current lock. Uh, 
then uh, and then we have to echo just as we find the current wallpaper name here uh, which we do here we have to do the same but with the current look instead I know it, it, it gets a bit messy this but whatever whatever maybe we could actually do this yeah let's do this instead base name current look so this will echo the name of the current uh, current look look if it exists uh, else if um, yeah and I guess then we also need this test here but this time test if it's not equal to one and then echo the current wall otherwise get a random wall okay so now if I do this we should always get the current lock here which is white mountains and it works every time here Set it to a random wall. Now we can we should see here that that changed the current lock and we get that. Cool. Uh, but uh, sometimes uh, you might want the act the, the wallpaper uh, when you you want to lock the screen with the current wallpaper. What we could do is is add yet another uh, test here. <sighs> I guess we do this. If O plus O W is more than no, is equal to two, meaning both the W and the L option is set. Then we set we lock the screen with the current wall. Uh, but we also need to test that the current wall exists, which we do here. Um, yeah, Th these two do the same thing, but I still think it's it's nice to have them in in different tests here because it gets weird with this this stuff otherwise. Whatever. So now we should be able to do L and W, and it will lock the screen with the current wallpaper. Didn't work. That was the current lock screen. Ah, I guess we need this test first then. Sorry for this, I didn't prepare it at all, but... There. Current wall lock, nice. And if we take a random wall here, lock the screen now, it locks with the current wall. I am happy with how this works now. And now also if we just do without, it also locks with the current wall because that just happened to be the same file here. So yeah, that's how we can use i3 lock with our uh, 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 BWP script here. Maybe we should add it to Polybar also, it's very easy. Yeah, I already have it here. If we middle click uh, the, the controls, we lock the screen with the last lock screen so to speak save there and here's this is another thing also when i reload uh, polybar it always the default you know is to just print the format here but without any hook uh, so now if i click this left click this you see nothing happens because it thinks that it is expanded when it uh, yeah whatever to fix this we just add this initial equals one and that means it will always trigger the first hook here every time we reload uh, polybar and then it will work as expected all, every time so if we take a random wall here if i middle click anywhere on the module uh, then it should lock the screen with the last lock the the beach and it works pretty cool so yeah, I think that's 
enough for this video actually because I, I thought maybe I should show you uh, I because this is the, the the lock screen I use I use a fork of i3 lock called i3 lock color which uh, have some more options you can see here it displays the the, the time you can display the time and you can do yeah all kinds of things with it actually here is the additional features but I just don't feel like going through that and it's more or less just some extra options so you can add more colors and, and things like that and, and also it's not like an official uh, package it's not available in any official package managers except the, the, the most official is AUR and we all know how that is but this is fine I, ha I have been using this for a long time it, it works uh, really really well uh, and it's much better in my opinion than i3 look the vanilla version because yeah the, the lock screen is a bit ugly you know this indicator thing it would be nice to, to change color and display a clock and stuff like that so if you want to do that then you should use uh, i3 lock color instead but i will not go into any details about it and then you you can figure it out yourself the, the best way by the way is uh, there is a file here let's see if we can find it here lock.sh in this i3 lock repo here uh, that have an example uh, lock script here and here you can see a bunch of these extra options that that's not available in in this lock screen but whatever let's not get into that you can do it yourself experiment with this if you want to but now my friends we are i i feel that the uh, bwp is uh, is, is done here now. We, we have added all functionality that we set out to do, except for the screensaver, and we will not do that. Um, so we could remove that here as well. And also here we should change this to rename wallpaper to new name. Um, yeah, all I would like to do now is, is more or less refactor this script, also add a couple of improvements. I got some good comments as usual on my videos. Oh, now I can see I've got yet another comment, maybe. Uh, but Emanuele found some, some stuff uh, that was really good that we should add some minor improvements to, to this hiding the control stuff. The feel when you realize Bud didn't use uh, the rubbish built-in polybar menu for BWP control. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, that, the built-in polybar menu, that, that is insane. Uh, that's, that's an insane uh, system. Um, whatever. Let, I, I will never demonstrate that. I, I really try to get to, to use it, and, and but, but it's... It's like easier to, to write your own, the, uh, I'm not kidding, it, it's easier to write your own polyfy script and everything than, than trying to understand how to use uh, the rubbish built in polybar menu in the same way. Don't want to bash on polybar too much you know, because I, I actually like it a lot. Uh, yeah, I guess that's also a good time to, to make a shout out here to the polybar uh, project. github.com slash polybar um, because there is a repository here in the polybar organization called polybar scripts uh, that contains a lot of uh, uh, user contributed polybar scripts here so and and i really encourage you if you have your own little dirt hack uh, uh, modules you can submit them to, to this repository and I actually submitted that Polyfy script that I talked about to, to this repository and the pull request got accepted and everything. So it's now included in this list, which I am very honored uh, <laughs> to be on that list. Yeah, whatever. No, but, but, but this is actually cool that they have this, uh, um, have this repository. And there's uh, a, a very good way to learn how to write your own Polybar modules by looking at these... Uh, uh, custom uh, modules here that wasn't the most interesting one but whatever and I've also seen uh, that uh, there have been some activity just like uh, the last last few days here to the polybar uh, 
official branch here. Yeah, August 6, you can see a, a lot of, of new pull requests here uh, lately. So I'm suspecting there's a new version coming up, even if the, the last one wasn't that long ago. But they, there's really good development and, and there's like new, or new wish, uh, Patrick96, uh, it looks like he's the, the, the main maintainer, so to speak now. And he, he's doing a good, very good job keeping this, this uh, project rolling. So just a shout out there to the Polybar uh, project. Thank you for watching everybody. Um, so one video, maybe two, I don't know. I hope it will not be that many because I'm getting really tired of having floating windows just so we can look at the wallpapers. You know, it's, uh, I, I want to get back to, to tiling uh, because that's where I belong. I'm a tiler. You have been watching Bud Labs. I wish you a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.